All right, I've got a new one for you guys. Let's add a Bitmoji banner to Google Classroom. Okay, so those of you who know what Bitmoji is, um, you are probably going, yay. Uh, those who don't, well, you're going to learn here, okay? So step one, though, you need to download the Bitmoji app for your cell phone, okay? When you get it, you're going to see all these fun little Bitmojis of yourself that you can now um, paste anywhere, copy and paste them anywhere, including your Google Classroom banner. Okay, so how does this translate to my computer? How can I use it on my computer if it's on my phone? Um, once you are signed up on your phone, then there's a few things you'll need to do. You'll need to go to the Chrome store and get the Bitmoji extension. It's actually considered an app, I think. Um, but anyway, it shows up as an extension up here. So go to uh, the Chrome store and get that. It will show up right here. All right. Now, that's not going to be everything, though. You need to now sign in with the email that you used on your phone to sign up for it. You'll need to sign in. Once you sign in, it's going to say, woohoo, you're logged in. Okay. Now you can start using it. So what does that mean? Okay. Well, let me show you. I showed you on my phone those little bitmojis. Look, they're now going to show up here. You can use any of them you want. Okay. Now you um, all, it's really simple. All you have to do is right click, copy the image, and now you can paste it anywhere. Okay. So let's get to the task at hand. Let's make a custom Google Classroom banner with your Bitmoji. All right. Step one, you're going to open a Google drawing. Okay. So to do that, it's drawings.google.com. If you hit um, and hit return, it'll come up. I renamed mine to Bitmoji Classroom Banner. But now we need to see what is the size of a banner. I happen to know because I looked it up. It is 1,000 by 250 pixels. So we need to adjust the size of this canvas here. All right. To do that, we are going to go to File. Then we will go to Page Setup. If you go to Page Setup, and then right here, you're going to click down to Custom. All right. Make sure you change it from inches or inches to pixels because that's what that 1000 by 250 is referring to. So let's click apply and voila, we got a long, short banner and it's the exact right size. Okay. Uh, so let's now uh, put a background here because we're going to copy and paste that. In fact, look, if you go paste, <laughs> you got me in there, right? Okay. But this is the blank background. We need more than that. Um, so let's now go to the shapes here, go to shape. I'm going to choose a uh, square. Okay. And we're going to make this the size we need it to be the size of the whole banner. All right. Uh oh, it has, uh, um, covered up the, uh, the bitmoji. So if you hit command and then the down arrow, it puts this, uh, in order behind the bitmoji. Okay. So I just did that right there. I hate this blue. I must say the, uh, the default blue, let's change it to white and let's give it a, okay, good. It's got a black border. Let's make the border a little bit more. There we go. Excellent. Okay. You got the check mark. Now maybe we need to put a little bit more in there. So let's go to the text box. There we go. And let's put text in here and we'll just say, Mr. Baxter's, um, floating day classroom. We need to make that bigger. Okay. Go something like that. Maybe we um, go like this. Select all. There we go. Put them in the middle. Let's move this over maybe a little bit here. All right, I'll go over a little bit. That's good enough. All right. Let's, uh, let's take this now. Let's put it in Google Classroom. So what you're going to need to do, uh, to do is go to File. Then you're going to go down to download and choose PNG. Um, I, mine downloads to my computer. Yours will download to your Chromebook. Okay. Or to your, um, uh, Google drive. Okay. So once it's downloaded, we go to uh, Google classroom, go to upload photo. Then you know, select a photo from your computer. Okay. And I called it bitmoji banner. That was the old one I made. There we go. 
and it's going to let you uh, do a little bit of cropping, but we put it at the right size already. So we'll just crop it to show 100% of that. Click on it and give it a second. Ta-ha! We're good. We have got Mr. Baxter's Floating Day Classroom now showing up here. Okay? There you go. There's your custom Bitmoji banner in Google Classroom.